in what could only be described here as one of the clearest examples of being absolutely stupid on Twitter. It, 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 it boggles the mind. For when, when I saw this article here from um, Bounding Into Comics, I, I said to myself, no, it couldn't be the same thing because I saw something similar to this came out. He was last month or something, so it came out. And, and I saw this person doing this thing on Twitter or was it TikTok or something. And I was like, okay, nobody going and take this nonsense seriously. But apparently... When you when you when your mind so warped that you trying to push a cause that doesn't exist, this is the kind of nonsense you just get. So here it is: social justice activist says white people must skip Black Panther Wakanda forever on opening weekend. To do anything other than this is anti-black. You, you couldn't, I'm telling you, I, I, I'm not even sure what to start talking about how messed up this is. You know? I really don't even want to start talking about this. Let, 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 let's go through it. Maybe then I'm going to let's go through it. Eh? In arguably one of the most predictable discourse developments imaginable, Black Panther Wakanda Forever has been declared so important for the black community that white audiences must refrain from attending opening weekend screenings of Black Panther Wakanda forever in order to prove that they are done for the cause. What cause? That's what I wanted. And I don't understand how anybody would think Black Panther Wakanda forever is so important to the black community. Movies are for everybody to enjoy. People may like a certain movie, they may not like a certain movie. The minute you, the minute you start as, as, as a disturbed individual, start pushing race into something to make it seem like, you know, if, if white people go and watch the movie, they're somehow anti-black. It's just, it's just dotish. Absolutely dotish. <sighs> uh, yeah, okay. This needlessly divisive rhetoric was first raised in an October 24 TikTok video, okay, yeah, posted by self-described, yeah, it is self-described social reform activists, heavy emphasis on self-described, as even her own website appears to list her credentials in the field as little more than the operation of a seemingly defunct personal blog. Lavender Lee. I remember seeing this nonsense. It is the end wokeness. If you go to see Wakanda Forever on opening weekend, you are anti black. White people need to stay away so that black people can enjoy that movie in peace. This is absolute and utter nonsense, you know. Absolute nonsense. Let me play this. Let me play this so, 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 so you. No. This message is to all our would-be accomplices and white allies. This message is to all the white people who have BLM in their bio. If you really want to prove to black people that you love us and you care about us and you are down for the cause, do not go see that movie opening weekend. You buy your ticket, you give it to a black person or a black family who can't afford to go, and then you go sit at that theater in front of the doors. You make sure that every black person in that theater can enjoy that movie in peace. You make sure that you use your body to block us from anybody who would be coming in that theater to do us harm. That is your job. You can go see it on another weekend. Go see it on the second or third weekend. But the first weekend, that's for us. To do anything other than this is anti-black. Anything other than this is anti-black. That has to be what could only be considered absolutely stupid everything i heard in that in that um tiktok or whatever this is when you're desperate to get some attention 
you you've described him as some self-proclaimed um you know fighter for the black cause and all kind of thing and that's what you are you're self-proclaimed but what you really are is just somebody on the internet trying to get some kind of recognition for something stupid like this if you telling me something like i mean like okay i live in the country of trinidad twin island nation trinidad and tobago and i'm telling you when black panther comes out and we and let me say something here we are a multicultural nation multicultural nation we have many different many different races making up this country we have we have african we have indian we have chinese we have we have white we have this whatever whatever it is we have it here in some form or another and i can tell you this with absolute certainty it have nobody in this country going to going to go buy the ticket give it to somebody else and stand up in front the, in, in front of the cinema to block anybody from going in because that kind of nonsense don't don't live here it don't live here and you shouldn't be and you should not be trying to start something like that and actually try to act like you are somehow some crusader for the cause you're not you're causing problems that's what you're doing but as is the case once it goes viral you understand this is why i keep saying all these things you keep hearing about all these pronouns all these blm all these anti race all, all the things that people will, will love to put out there is just a fad because you could tell me how somebody will have a profile online and when you check the problem you see them you see them putting in um anti-racism anti this and that what, what, what do you have to put anti racism? if you're not a racist you're not a racist that's it all kind of they them she her yes all kind of all kind of nonsense it's just a fact and this is what people feed off of and they make up these things and put it out there so people so, so people will latch on to it and go and do it and lo and behold somebody latched on to it because let me show you it here right i'm taking to his personal twitter account on october 26 hollywood critics association founder scott menzel challenged all non-poc critics journalists big and small to email their pr contacts and give up their seat to the night okay here it is eh? i challenge all non-poc critics journalists big and small to email their pr contacts and give up your seat to tonight's wakanda forever premiere or tomorrow's screening to a critic or entertainment journalist of color voices hashtag voices matter hashtag representation matters you sound like a total idiot honestly a total idiot if you want to buy a ticket for somebody who may not be able to see it a, a show of goodwill okay again as i say whatever we may try to emulate em, em out there we I, I have seen it in my own country Trinidad and Tobago, where i have seen ministers in office buy tickets for school children to go and see movies do things for people to go and see they, we do that but that doesn't mean you must you must give up your ticket and go and stand in front of the in front of the cinema like some kind of shit. What it is? What are you trying to protect? That's my right. What are you trying to protect? So they must. So you trying to tell me that, that somehow if you don't do that, the so-called black people who go in there to watch this movie are somehow going to be uh, somehow going to be attacked and and and, and 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 you know discriminated against in some way for watching a movie. This is ridiculous garbage. And then he, then he goes on to say, you understand me? I already gave my seat away for tomorrow. No, no, this is when the, the early screening happened for it. Yeah, this was, I think, about um, a few days ago, when the early screening, uh, early screening for it happened. But this is what I'm talking about. This is the problem with it. And, the, and as, um, as, um, as, as bounding into comics, it states here of course the elephant in the room is that it seems white people are being positioned in a racist catch-22 should they turn up to catch the film on opening weekend obstinately helping to support the narrative that black women can lead the box office globally it seems they'll be deemed as an anti-black bigot for depriving a black individual a seat to one of the thousands upon thousands of screenings of the latest disney product People be perfectly honest with you, as far as I'm concerned, go and watch whatever you want to watch and stop worrying about these people and their nonsense. Stop it. 
I don't know if this movie is going to be good or not. I really don't know. It could be good, it could not be good. I don't know. But what I do know is the minute the minute sick individuals start using these things, it shows the kind of people that, that, that are out there, the kind of mentality that they have, the kind of things that they want to that they want to, to start doing, the kind of the kind of problems that they want to cause. And make it seem like everything is some giant racial conspiracy. And people must sit outside of there. I'm telling you plain and simple. Go and watch the, the new movie. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Indian, Chinese, African, or whatever. Go and watch the movie and stop worrying about these lunatics and decide for yourselves whether you like it or not. I will see the movie when it comes out. I will do my review. You know, I you know I usually do God willing, and I will go and see, see the movie and do, do my review, and I will let you know my thoughts on it. But this kind of nonsense has no place anywhere. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. You have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. You know, you find every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.